All right. My family deleted a rapaist. Mm. This is my grandfather's story. It would have occurred sometime in the early 1960s. My grandpa comes from a very remote part of my country. Even in the 60s, they lived in a log cabin without phone or electricity. He lived with his three brothers, sister, father, and his mother. It was a violent household. My great-grandfather was an alcoholic. My grandpa, his siblings, and his mother were accustomed to beatings. The culture of the time was to accept this as a harsh reality of the remote and difficult lives that were led so far from civilization. My great-aunt was the youngest of the siblings, and as my grandpa and his brothers grew into young men and began working, he, she was left at home and began to take on the role of housekeeper, as my great-grandmother was often ill. Mm. She would often use her bad health as an excuse for not stopping what happened next. My great-grandfather began rapaying oh my, my, God! my great-aunt at some point, most likely before she had even begun puberty. Yeah, um, it, it, listen, if you, if you do that, in my opinion, you deserve the death penalty. Ooh. It continued for years. Oh, no. All the brothers moved out, and she was left completely alone. My grandpa says he truly did not know. He worried for his sister receiving the brunt of the beatings, but he did not know about the rapé. Oh, my God. I hope that's true. When my great aunt was 13, Here she go. became preggers with her father's oh son. Oh, my God. The night my grandpa found out, him and his brothers snowmobiled from out of town. Since none of them owned a gun, they had to use shovels to beat their own father to death. Hey, so listen, um, I'm going to tell you this Whoa. right now. If I had a son and I found out he was like a massive serial killer or some douchebag, he would disappear. Because, I, I, one, you know, he's obviously, you, you're not going to redeem this guy. No. Nope. And then if you turn him in, then everyone hates you because you narked on your brother. Mm -hmm. So you just whack him. <laughs> Jimmy Bone says, wood chipper, go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and wood. is it the perfect answer? No. But is the answer good enough? Yes. Yeah. I mean, wood chippers are the perfect all-gender bathroom. Well, I mean. Before we had the prison industrial complex, it was usually the, you know, population of where you live that controlled a lot of the bad behavior. Yeah. I mean, this is just a, I mean, when you think about it, it's just a really, really, really late term abortion, which leftoids are all for. So. Mm -hmm. The ground was frozen solid, so they uh, burnt him. Oh, okay. Which also helped to destroy the evidence, I suppose. Although I'm not sure anyone ever questioned how my great grandfather had died, these were very different times, especially in the sticks. I got to say, he's died in his sleep and we burned his body. Yep. My great aunt's son, born of incest, is afflicted with genetic issues. He oh. can barely see and has only one functioning kidney. Oh, my God. But he is happy. He has healthy kids in their 20s now. My oh. great aunt drank herself to death in the 80s, as did my great grandmother, so I never met them. My grandpa told me all this when he was drunk, and he also has become an alcoholic. So has my dad. Generational trauma of my family is thankfully now broken with me and my siblings. But this revenge murder, this disgusting hurt, was really just another sad piece of a puzzle of abuse that started a long time ago. I just, I'm just curious. Uh, where Woo. do they live? I mean, is it Alaska or I don't know, or is it somewhere? Oh, they said they don't have guns, so it has to be somewhere in Europe. Well, it was also cold. a long time ago, too. Yeah. So. Now that's messed up. Listen, uh, that sucks. I'm sorry that <laughs> happened, but I have I really have no uh, compassion for pedophiles. And, and no, I, I, I just don't. Especially uh, incestual pedophiles. Oh my god, that's, that's a special kind of of evil. Yeah. Wow. I, I would have probably figured something out, like you know, kicked his ass, took him down to a large body of water since it was frozen. Hey. hey. Chop a hole. Hey, great grandpa, you want some gender affirming care? <laughs> I'll take care of that for you. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you just throw them in the water. Hypothermia is going to take them. Yeah. And then you're like. I mean, especially if he's abused his body with alcohol for yeah. years, his cardio is not going to be great. Well, not that I would know about that or anything. Yeah. Know. And, you know, and then you could just chop it, uh, chalk the whole thing up to victim of circumstance. There you go. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.